What's this? They're playing your favourite game, Ryan. Baldy Ryan, Baldy Ryan. Nidhogg too wants these. Ugly Baldy Ryan, no pals, no pals. Why didn't they ask you to play it? Is it because you're a Baldy bastard? You smell of fish, you smell of fish, Ryan. Ugly you're Baldy rubbish, can't. you're rubbish at everything. Look Everyone how hates much you. Fun what a dick, a what a dick you are. Are you working, Ryan? Nidhogg, sure you working? They're mocking you. No! You're a dick, Ryan. Welcome to the GeForce experience. We may get something free for them, but we won't. You hear that? Touch the walls. You don't know what they might do. Turn back. <sighs> she has to keep going. It's not safe here. The darkness touched you. The band? The darkness, mate. The band? Oh, God, no! Oh, now that is scary. This is Senua, the main character. Looks quite a lot like Tilda Swinton, like a like an affordable Tilda Swinton. What an interesting fact is that she's not actually an actress. She was a video editor that works for the developer. I'm a video editor, that could have been me. Oh no, everybody's dead. Oh, I'm raging about everything. I'm, ra I'm sad as well, I'm sad and I'm raging. And everybody's dead. Oh, it's a lot to take in. Who was she? She was fucking really good when you die. In Hellblade, the black rot creeps up your arm, and if it gets to your oh, hurt my head. If it gets to your brain, you slide along the ground like that. For, no, you don't. You it deletes your save if it gets to your brain. You believe that? Fucking deletes your save. Luckily, that's highly unlikely to ever happen because it's one of the easiest games you'll ever play. Let's stick to the positives. It's a game of contrasts of light and dark. Senua has these voices in her head that are constantly undermining her. Oh, I really like this bit. They want me to say sensory experience a lot because they put the effort in. It teaches you to use your hearing. Definitely play it with headphones if you're going to play it at all. Because it, it it uses that. You can get, as I say, it's a really easy game. So you probably could have just done it with a blindfold on using your arse to, con to, to use a controller. Can you use your arse to... The fighting's excellent, I don't under- I just don't get it, I don't get it. The first time I played the fighting engine, I was like, fuck, this is- this is really good. I- I refuse to believe that there aren't people that are in that games company who are raging that the fighting didn't take centre stage. Because this takes centre stage, wandering about a fucking maze, getting chased by a fire thing and then dying. Whereas the fighting's a doddle. It's just, it's kind of like an afterthought, it's fucking weird. It's- because it's really good. It had me thinking of like, uh, like Bushido Blade, it was like, take your time, it's nice and weighty and solid, satisfying, great, it's great, but it's too fucking easy, it's too easy, it's weird, but it's good, look, listen, it's good, it, it, it's, it's, it's a good game, it's a good game that you should play, the puzzles are a bit pish, to be honest, but it's it's definitely, definitely worth playing, it's a, a, about six hours it will take you. The majority of the time it will be then puzzles, but it's a good game. Writing's very good, very st stylistically, absolutely, as you can see, absolutely fucking beautiful. A lot of the time, it's very well paced, a lot of the time it's talking to you, it's telling you stories, it's all, it's all that's very well done. It's just too easy, it's too easy. And these fucking puzzles, these weird puzzles, find a shape, match a shape. I saw this at the start of the game and I was like, oh, this will be just like a, a tutorial thing. There's no tutorial. That happens later on in the game. Like, all the way through, find a shape. You know what else annoyed me? Well, we're on the subject, actually. It is a good game. You know what else annoyed me? Look at this cutscene. What's that on the lens? There's no an Assassin's Creed style fucking twist in this game. That's just there because somebody thought it looked nice. I'm supposed to be in the moment with this beautiful character who's the, who, who gives a good performance. It's very well written. There's fucking shit on the lens. A lens that doesn't exist doesn't make any sense. But it is a good game. Definitely play it, it is a good game. Game of contrasts. Light and dark. Bombarding you all the time. Undermining you. Stressing you out. And then giving you wee glimpses of hope. Glimpses of light. Emotional and tonal shifts. It does exceptionally well. See the world through eyes and you. His moments are real, real beauty. Just like he does. Moments. It has moments. Play it for those moments and ignore the rest. Goodbye. Oh, that's floored me, that all that. Oh well. 